Hello, everyone. I'm just waiting for anybody to get in, and here are the people. Hello, everyone. Uh, we need to right now do a sound and visual check. Do you hear me? Do you see me? I will repeat this. Uh, can you please write whether you hear and see me? So, since nobody is answering me, supposedly you do hear and you do see me. Uh, hello once again. My name is Alexey Kenin. I am the brand ambassador of the Eagle Forum Company. And today, I am going to do a first webinar in English language dedicated to presentation of our company, Eagle Forum. Um, Traditionally, we start webinars with, uh, with the videos, official videos of the company to give you, to give you a vision of uh, what is happening and what does our company do and who represents it. Um, and let's, uh, let's do it.
Uh, hello, everyone, again. Do you hear me? Do you see me? Okay, so nobody's, uh, nobody's responding me in the chat. And uh, I know that uh, the sound in the video, you might not have heard it because certain reasons but it's it's all good. This is not the most crucial part of our presentation. And since uh, since people are here and people are ready to to see the presentation, I will start. So here it is, Eagle Orm Company, its official logo. And let's talk about our company. Eagle Orm Company is a commercial entity uh, which is registered and headquartered in Spain, Valencia, at 2060. The company, as a commercial company, has a partner bank which is K Cakes, Cakes uh, or Keisha Bank, which is a Spanish bank. Uh, you can uh, find uh, all the information on their official website, which is keishabank.com. The company is opened on July 10th of 2016. Uh, information about the legal entity and all the, the documents official documents so of a legal entity that you might need and want to see, you can find them on on the following web address, which is n.thatsocapital.com. And in the search bar, there type Eagle Orm Company SL, and you will find there only one company, which is Eagle Orm, but there you can find all the, all the details about the company and if um, you want to see the, the actual documents, the uh, VAT documents and other things, you need to pay for it a certain amount of money because this is not uh, uh, you know, free information. Uh, yes, he, here is displayed our office. Uh, on the right part of the screen, you see the building in which this office uh, exists, which is a Euro building in Valencia on the address Avenue Aragon 30. Uh, Ar uh, Avenue Aragon 30. Uh, the fiscal, I fiscal identification code of the company, you can also see on the screen, this is B9988295. By using this code, you can also find legal information about the company. In the office you see right now on your screen, this is the headquarters. 
Um, this is the first and for now the only office the company has uh, here. Here you can you can find uh, people and executives working. Here you can uh, come at at working time to ask whatever questions you want to most probably uh, pay uh, services of the company like entrance of the marketing program, uh, MLM program, or to buy uh, gold or silver directly. There will be a showcase. Um, basically, this is the center, and this is the place you can find out find and uh, find out and find everything you need let's continue uh, what are the activities of the company the company is registered and licensed as a commercial company that sells that sells store and delivers precious metals for now, the precious metals are gold and silver in ingots and coins. Uh, the, uh, the line of gold ingots starts with uh, 0 0.5 grams, ending with uh, 400 ounces, basically the 12 uh, kilogram ball. Uh, silver ingots are represented uh, by the line of ingots starting from 5 grams to uh, sorry, 2.5 grams to uh, from uh, 2.5 grams to 5 kilograms. Uh, the company sells its products um, retail, wholesale, online, and via MLM program. Also, the uh, the products that you bought from the company can be redempted by the company on with the consequent request delivery of products the company sells is provided by an international company prosegur there is the link you can enter it and find all the information you might need about the company as i already said according to, uh, the the company is is working in accordance with the european legis legislation and the right to trade investment gold and silver License and according to its license, it is officially stated that the company can sell products retail, wholesale, online, and which is the most important. This is officially licensed. The company is able to sell its products legally via MLM system, multi-level marketing system, in which uh, a, a certain amount of product can be bought by engaging uh, other people to who wants to buy the product of the company. Let's talk about uh, a bit about the expansion plan of, plan of the company, uh, which implies opening of at least 30 offices in first five years, which are distributed all around the world on all continents in the major capitals uh, the offices are designed to uh, provide support to to clients of the company to provide the ability to buy the products of the company on the place without going like, half half uh, half half a world to another country and place to buy it. Um, yes, the company is is um, looking forward to provide the most comfortable way of working with its clients. It doesn't matter. The company can, can have uh, different types of clients. And the strategy of the company is to provide support to, to its clients, to any kind of its clients in any point of the world. As you can see, uh, the, the pins that are um, displayed on the map. Uh, they are pointed at Japan and its capital, capital Tokyo, in the Philippines and its capital Manila, in UAE with the uh, center in Dubai, in Africa. This is the country which is called Nigeria, N Nigeria and its capital Lagos. Uh, the 
the, the central point, uh, the central pin on the map represents the Valencian office, which is already opened. And another five pins represent uh, offices in um, one in Latin America and four others in the Northern Amer uh, America, in the United States. Uh, the cities are, are Los Angeles, New York, and two, two other, Miami, of course, and another one, I think, no, this is one, uh, one office in uh, Latin America. The other, which is higher, the, represents Mexico. And three others represent the offices in <clears throat> United States. Yeah, so the company has a really ambitious and wide plan of expansion to provide the best support uh, its clients may need. Let's continue with the presentation of the officials of the company. And now on the screen, you see Alejandro Raul Arguilla. This is the CEO and the president of the company, the person who initiated this project, who brought it to reality, and who now lets, lets all the things that, uh, that are needed to be developed, lets it develop. Uh, this is a person with a really rich experience with uh, with miraculous abilities in different fields and you know personally i think if we have since we have such a such a ceo and president the company is in secure hands and the development of the company will be going in the best way it is possible this person is highly reliable Um, the next group of people represents the head executives of the company, which are, which are working in, in different fields to let the company live and develop. Uh, let's start from left to right. The first, the first person is logistics director, Natalia Argilia. Uh, she, as much as I know, she's, uh, she's very experienced in her field and she is able to do her work very qualitatively. The next person is Ronald Rueda, which is sales director, which also is a very experienced person in his field and with him it feels secure to, to develop our company. The central person is Francisco Perez, which is vice president, vice president of the company and the major and uh, the, the closest companion accomplice of Alejandro Argilia, who, uh, who invested a lot of his energies and resources to let this company appear. The next person is Elena Kadatska, which is marketing director, uh, which is also of course, everyone in the executive team and in our staff is very experienced. And I know personally, for a long time, this person, she she is not only experienced in, in her field, she, as I was looking at her, the developing her professional abilities, she was always looking for new and creative ways of uh, doing her job. And here, I believe she will. She is already showing her proficiency and uh, power in what she does. And this is our marketing director. The next person, the fifth, the last one is Adil Gasmala. Uh, this is the regional manager of Arab World, uh, Arab World and Africa. And here, I want to stop for a second because with. Uh, with CEO Alejandro and for the rest, uh, the rest four people is pretty much clear. One is CEO, another is marketing director, another is vice president, sales director, logistic director. With with these positions, everything is clear. But the original manager, uh, you know, at the first sight, it may not be too obvious what does this person do. So Adil Gasmol is the original manager. Uh, the 
task and objectives of regional managers is to first of all manage the office which is in in his which is located in his region and to control all the processes that the company has in this certain country so it in this included support uh support of, of the clients and this included uh the provision of uh delivery of the products it implies it also includes the uh, the watching and the controlling of the discipline of all the all the parts of the company working in this region and so on so this is the first for now and the only person who is the regional manager and uh he is going to be located where the company's office is going to be located which is dubai and there uh he is going to to do everything that is in his responsibility to provide support to provide um deliveries to control the discipline to to maintain the order okay let's let's go on uh, let's talk about products of the company. As I already said, the company trades investment gold and silver ingots in coins. For now, the company provides the products of only one company, which is IG, IGR. This is Istanbul Refinery, uh, which is certificated and licensed by LBMA that they uh, provide the finest products which is uh investment gold uh 24 carats or um four four nines purity and uh the same thing with uh silver previously i also mentioned the website of, of the company so if you if you are interested in details what does this company do and uh how it works you are welcome to their official website uh on the previous slides we saw ingots silver ingots and coins or uh, silver and gold and silver ingots on this slide we see uh gold and silver coins as you might have noticed the silver coin is is with our official logo this is one of the one of the peculiarities of our company that the, uh, the company uh, will soon have th their own coins so whenever you will be uh, buying silver coins in our company you will be able to buy it with the official logo of the company Okay, so now we are bouncing to one of the most interesting parts is the it is the part with different activities of the company. And the first thing I want to represent you is Eagle University. The company fully understands how it is important to have the uh, the best the best people in its executive team in its staff its employees and all the people that are connected with, with the company who represent the company and do everything basically they they cannot be just uh, like random persons uh, random people with uh, maybe with even good abilities and good experience the company requires people who are specially and professionally trained um, by itself because like in whatever way a person can be uh, experienced and professional but if he uh, doesn't doesn't really into uh, the into the deta detailed information and knowledge about the company this person will not be able to work properly so the company organized eagle university uh, this is a an a formation an educational organization in which the company will be training 
providing uh, providing training and education to to people that that might want to to work uh, in this company. The the programs are prepared and funded funded uh, totally by the company and in collaboration with the best coaches worldwide. A bit later, I will I will return to this topic again and to this topic and. For now, let's continue. Executive plan of the company implies that any leader, and I hope you understand who leaders are, and if not, you will understand a bit later, uh, the executive plan, uh, plan implies uh, implies offering a career opportunity to to its leaders the leaders are the people who who develop their uh, their business with the company to to high levels freedom what does freedom in this case mean so most probably you are i think you wouldn't be you would have not been here if you wouldn't been aware of uh, what is company doing and um i want to state right now that the company has no limitations uh, puts no limitations on your activities if you cooperate uh if you cooperate with it so you can do as many different activities and businesses as you want that the company for for company it doesn't matter for the company you are its client and they will put all their efforts to to treat you well to educate you to provide you the best support and the uh, last thing before we talk about I think, the most interesting part of our presentation, which is the MLM program of the company. I want to tell you that one of the one of the most important uh, points and objectives the company put before itself is the discipline. The company want, want, wants to make it this way so its clients always feel always feel secured and protected because uh yeah there were m many different experiences when when people were participating in uh, in in different projects and they were do they were using dirty methods in order to achieve their goals and here i want to assure you that you are fully protected and secured by the company's uh, zero tolerance uh, policy against corruption an individual who commits any act that can harm in any way other customers suppliers or the company or anyone connected with it <clears throat> so this was uh, the part uh, which represented the which present by which I presented you the company, its activities, its uh, its legal um, legal aspects, uh, its uh, its attitude towards different things. And now let's let's jump to the most into the most interesting part, which is MLM program of the company. Our compensation plan. Uh, the story about our compensation plan. I want to start with uh, with the purchase order, which you see on your screen. So, yes, you are most probably aware the company has an MLM program in which you can participate uh, by uh, by attracting other. Uh, by attracting clients to the company who are interested in purchase of gold and precious metals uh, in general to a certain program in which everything will be accounted and for for attraction of other clients 
of new clients to the company, you will be receiving rewards. So we see on our screen a conceptual circle uh, with three layers. Let's figure out what is what. In the middle, you see an eagle, a logo of the company. By this, point, by this eagle, by the logo of the company, is represented the place of the owner of an order. So if you are an owner and you have an order, you will see yourself in the middle of the circle. And this will be all the way in the in the marketing in the MLM program of the company. You will always see yourself in the middle. Uh, what comes next? The next thing is that when you have your order, in order to 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 start earning in this program, in order to start increasing your earnings, you need to attract new clients. And when you attract new clients, they are placed in your order. Here you see uh, 12 cells aside, apart from the, from the middle one, in which uh, the attracted clients will be placed. Uh, they are 12, 12 cells, 12 new clients, and when it comes to, to having 12 clients on one order, this order is considered completed and the owner of the order receives a reward. So how does the placement happen? Yeah, I think the considering the fact that you see it's uh, in the text form in the right upper corner that the clients will be placed from the inner circle outwards and clockwise. So with the very first client, when you attract him and he also enters the program, he goes to the first cell. The second he goes to the second, the third goes to the third. After the inner cir circle, the, the sentence, yeah, the inner circle is, is completed, uh, new 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 attracted clients start uh, start getting placed in the out circle where we have eight cells. Uh, let me tell you about one thing. Most probably you you have a question what what is the difference between the inner and outer circle? You know they they should you know, the, the fact that there are inner and outer circles should represent um, represents that there is a difference between them. And yes, it is so. Uh, the difference is the following. Uh, in this program, in this algorithm, uh, on your orders, in your orders, you can see uh, you can have your first line and your second line. So your your the, the directly attracted uh, customers and their uh, attract uh, and their attracted uh, customers uh, the people who whom are invited by them um, and uh, the thing is the following when if your direct one of your directs is on the first. It's not if uh, like your directs all, always are going to be in the in the inner circle. Let's imagine you have uh, one person on the first set. If not if, but when uh, he when he invites his customers, he, his new clients, they are placed in his order, and he, your like anyone in this program, sees himself in the middle. So he would have, he will have completely the same uh, uh, this completely the same order, and he will see himself in the middle. And for him, he he's another uh, his direct invite is going to be placed on the first cell. So you have your direct invite person on the first cell, and when he has his di di direct invited people, they at the same time are placed in his order and in your order. Um, and uh, yeah, let me ex explain the difference. 
the inner and outer circle in both inner and outer circle uh, you can have your directly invited customers but directly uh, the customers invited by your directly invited customers you can have only on the outer circle and as you see the uh, the separation the division of, of these blocks which is like uh, the the first cell and the fourth fifth and sixth and uh, the same thing with others is that you can have maximum three three directly invited people by your direct Um, sorry, you can have uh, from each direct in your order, you can have maximum three uh, directly invited people by him. So the the most obvious uh, the most obvious way it can be done is that you have one direct on the first, one direct on the second, one direct on the third. And uh, here comes the like different variations. So let's talk about the most obvious one. Your first direct. Uh, fills his order, and three, uh, three people out out of twelve people on his order will be displayed on yours, and they consequently will help you help you complete the order. You you will have three from your first one, three from your second one, and three from uh, your third one, and that's how the um, the order is completed. But and another thing is that, for example, okay, you have your three three directs. For example, first and the second one, they work, work fine, and they already have their uh, three th their directs in their orders, uh, and they are in your order already. But for example, the third one, he has some kind of problems. Doesn't matter which kind of problems, but uh, he's stopping you from completing the order. Here you can uh, place your other directs that will help you uh, uh, complete the order, and that's how you will see you will receive your reward. Okay, let's let's continue. So how it happens? You you enter the program. The uh, <laughs> you enter the program with the forty euro prepayment. Which is represented by pre-purchase on this slide. You complete the order, you receive your reward, and you go to another order. This is pretty much the algorithm. You enter the program, you complete your orders. By completion of your first order, you move to other orders, and by completion of other orders, you open new ones and new ones. Here is the model of uh, you know of the building of the structure in the in the sense of uh, of orders so the left upper one represents the very first order when when you complete it uh, happens happen two things you uh, you go to to another order of a higher level and at the same time you go to um, to another order of the same type. When you close again the the second um, the second order of the first type, you go to the to the third uh, to the third uh, order of uh, of this type, and the same thing with others. On the second, you open your second order of this type. And you go to to the higher uh, to the higher one, and it continues. The thing is that the the amount of orders, the number of orders of the same type, is infinite, and you will soon understand why. So let's talk about the numbers and different orders in in the. MLM program of Eagle Orm Company, we have seven different orders. And only one through which you can enter. This, uh, this order is called Argentum Mini. The entrance payment or 
pre prepayment for for the product uh, of the company is 40 euro when when you complete the order your reward is 212 euro the second order is argento mini the prepayment for this order is 150 the reward is 700, uh, 790 the same the same the next order is or mini the prepayment is higher again and the reward is higher and thus we um, in this way we have seven different orders which is the first is argentum mini argentum or mini or senior or master or platinum and the millionaire club So oh, in the end, in the last uh, in the last order, after completion of the order, you will be receiving one million euro. Yeah, it, it might it may sound too much, but considering the fact that you enter only with forty euro and you don't need to to invest any other funds in order to reach the millionaire club, but this is how it is. You start with the 40, you reach the order by completion of which you receive 1 million euro. Let's talk about yeah, the, the funds flow and how everything happens. Uh, we have seven orders. We have pre-purchase, pre or prepayment amount, and we have the, the reward amount but in between of them there is one thing which is called first reward and whichever uh, whenever you close the first order of your first uh, first or order of each type you you do not receive the full reward because uh, because what because in when you close the first uh, when when you close the first type uh, the first order of any type, the system automatically uh, puts you to a higher level order, uh, at the same time deducting the entrance fee to this higher level order. So let's do it on the, on the example. So Argento Mini, uh, the reward is 212. But can we consider that when you go to another order you do a prepayment for this order and in this case this is 150 for argentum your and thus your first reward is 662 euro okay so you receive 212 and the uh, the system automatically deducts 150 in order to enter the next order the next type of order and the the system works with all the orders with all the types of orders except millionaire club um, which i think is pretty much obvious so uh yeah with a completion of argentum and going to or mini it's pretty much the same the reward amount is uh, seven, uh 790 and the prepayment amount of or mini is 500 uh, 580 you uh, you subtract 580 from 790 and you receive and you have the number the number which is 210 but already when you close when you complete your order your second order of any type you receive the full reward which is represented by the third column yeah the exception is millionaire club because this is the last order and after completion of this order you don't go to any new type of order uh, and that is why when you enter when you close when you complete your first platinum order you have the reward in the amount of two two hundred 290,000 you uh, you pay for the entrance of millionaire club one 179,000 
you receive as the first reward almost 50,000 euro. And that is it. That is the moment when the prepayment for next orders are finished. You don't anymore. The system doesn't anymore deduct any funds uh, from your rewards. Okay, uh, the next slide uh, is about the residual income system, and I I want to to talk in details about the 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 main the main program with orders and rewards. So. Uh, let's do a summary. You enter the program with 40 euro. Anyone who you will be uh, inviting will be entering the program with 40 euro. Uh, the the system is organized in the way that everybody anyone enters only with 40 euro. And this is possible by the, the system of uh, infinite multiplication of orders. So when you close your first Argentum Mini, you receive your reward, and you go to the second one. And in the second one, you again, if you, if you invite someone, you put, you put them, uh, th they are put by the system in the Argentum Mini. And this is not your first one, but the second one. And whenever you will be inviting, uh, inviting uh, new new direct, new uh, new customers, they will be placed on the Argentum Mini, and this is the mechanism which lets you uh, closing more, uh, completing more and more and more uh, orders of each type. So, the the biggest amount of orders completed will always be. Uh, Argentum Mini, the first one, and not only that. Uh, when you invite um, new people, they go to Argentum Mini. Also, um, when you're already invited people who are working, when they finish, um, when the, when they complete their silver Arg Argentum Mini orders, they uh, always follow you so they will be infinitely following you to uh, to all the Argentum uh, mini orders so this is yeah this system of in infinite accumulation of funds which which uh, lets you have decent incomes and let me remind you that uh, the the way of uh, the, the this um, MLM program it doesn't represent this uh, in its core. It's not the mechanism of uh, you know earning. In fact, this is the one of the ways, one of the met methods and forms of selling products. So whatever happens within uh, within the system, it is based on the purchase of products. So for example. When you uh, receive whatever reward, this for this amount of of funds of of money of currency, the company buys gold for you. So when when you close when you complete your your orders, you you receive not the the money itself but the gold first, and then you decide if you want to monetize. Uh, the the product you basically bought in the company, but you didn't didn't buy it directly, but by inviting other customers to organize sort of a collective purchase. Yeah, when you have the product on hands, you decide what to do: either to monetize it, or to deliver it, or to leave it uh, for the storage. Mm -hmm. uh, with this, I hope it's pretty much clear. Uh, another another thing is that uh, when you receive your reward, uh, when you complete basically complete an order, uh, you will receive uh, your gold, uh, your reward in the form of gold. 
and you are able to sell uh, to to monetize the product directly so the very moment you close your order you are able to sell the gold to sell the silver or gold back to the company to to uh, receive on uh, on your internal account uh, to receive it on to your internal account uh, currency and to withdraw it to your credit or debit card or bank account whatever you are able to do it right away after completion of um, of an order you don't need to wait uh, 14 days uh, but in fact you know according to the international law any product uh, that that is bought that is bought anywhere, you know, the customer has a right to within 40 days to return this product. And uh, here my, may arise the question: Why, you know, there is uh, now this system of holding the product, uh, holding the product 14 days, and the company gives the possibility to monetize it directly. The answer is simple: all the all the consequences that uh, that may happen with the, uh, that may happen within this 40 days whatever if if anything happens with this 40 days and there are some kind of problems or whatever the company takes responsibility upon this so whatever whatever problems happen uh, whatever uh, you know what uh, whatever issues there are with different financial or gov governmental agencies the company takes responsibility on itself and uh, the client um, and the client is is free from all, all these procedures so he has his product and he's able to mo monetize it right away what else else is the the thing that this legal aspect uh, the aspect of a uh, license of the company so in fact you know of course in order to enter this program you need to register uh, in the system on the website eagleorm.com when you register on the website eagle eagleorum.com uh, when you have an account and you you have an account in there and oh, wait it's like account and account and when you have an account in the system it means that you have this account in the bank let me explain you what it means uh, remember uh, that the partner partner bank of the company is Keisha Bank and having an account in the system of Eagle Orm means having account in this bank and all the financial operations that are happening within the internal account in the Eagle Orm are at the same time happening in the bank account of, of this bank uh, this tells us about several things. First of all, that everything is everything is secured by the bank. So it's not that you have this uh, this numbers on the screen in your internal account and Eagle Orm. It means that uh, you also have all these numbers and all these gold and all, all, all this product in in the bank account and it's and this is officially stated and uh, the company is obliged uh, to to report about all the all the funds and all the products that the clients and the company itself have according to its license the company whenever a person uh, do a prepayment the first and the only prepayment which is 40 euro or whenever a client um, a participant of the of the program receive any kind of reward which is represented in gold mainly the company is obliged according to its license to buy the product the company says their clients have 
So in this case, everything, everything is extre uh, secured on extremely high levels. So you, the thing I want to I wanted to make you understand is that whatever you have within the internal account in the Eagle Orm, you have it in bank, and you are always able to. You are always able, for example, to go to the bank, to the partner bank of the company, and uh, to and to approve the fact that you have uh, your product. Uh, you have the product that the Eagle Orm says you have. For example, you have uh, yeah, an Eagle Orm com. This is an internal account. You have, for example, fifty grams of gold. It means that you have this gold in a certain place, in a certain storage, in a certain bank. And through this bank, you can uh, you can assure yourself that it's really so, and the company really buys gold, and that this is 100% true. Yes, uh, I finished <clears throat> with explanation of the marketing uh, of the exp of the um, compensation plan um, regarding the tables and and what is uh, and and what is seen and what is first and what is the main thing. Now let's talk about the system of the residual income. <clears throat> I will start with the introduction of that. <clears throat> the the company has two systems of residual income, but today we are going to talk about only one of them. Okay, the residual income, residual bonds. Uh, I I have just understood that I forgot to mention the you know, what is qualification in the system, and I'm going to do it right now. Uh, yes, in order to receive uh, your rewards in the system, you need to be qualified. Uh, qualification implies having three uh, directly invited clients. So as soon as you have three directly invited clients, uh, you, for you opens two doors, doors to the, uh, doors to, to, um, to receiving rewards after completion of orders and the second one is the door of having residual income from uh, work of your structure and now we are going to talk about the residual uh, residual income from work of your structure so when you have three directly invited clients your three partners you start receive 1.4 percent from any completed order in your structure down four lines so in your in your first second third and the fourth line whenever an order is closed uh, you receive on your account 1.4 um, uh, 1.4 percent of, of the of the reward for for example you take any number of these for example it's like 200 Twelve, three thousand. You and you find the one point four percent from it, and this is what you have for uh, completion in your structure for down four lines. The next step is having four directs, and when you have four directs, you, uh, you start receiving residual bonus income from not from four but from six lines. Uh, continuing with that, you when you have five directs, you start receiving 0.4% yeah, from any order completed in your structure down eight lines. When you have six directs, you do it down nine lines. And when you have your seventh direct, which is a certain finishing step, uh, you start receiving 1.4% uh, from any completed order in your structure down 10 lines. And also, it opens you the door to another, uh, to the system, to another system of residual income about which I'm not going to talk about today, but later in, in my future webinars. So this is pretty much it. You, you, need, you need just seven directly 
the invited people in order to uh, to have uh, bonus residual income from from your from work of your structure okay we i for now i finished with the uh, with the mlm program i i uh, i told you about the orders of how it goes about the flow of funds the flow of orders the some details and so on and now uh, let's talk about uh other things and the first other thing is clients protection uh, the company sees uh, really strong importance in that her uh, in in that its clients are protected and not only they are protected legally and they need to have this feel of the feeling of being protected and in order for its clients to, to to protect it, the company um, designed the following rules. First of all, change of sponsor is forbidden. So when, yeah, when you register, the registration in the Eagle Orum.com is possible only with the sponsor. So there should be a person who invited you, and using his ID in the system, you register. And the fact that the change of sponsor is forbidden means that you will not be able to to change the sponsor, saving all all the progress you have in the program. Yeah, of course you can technically change the sponsor by reg 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 registering a, a new account, but it means that you know, yeah, you you just start from the very beginning. There is no such option that you change the sponsor to another uh, you change your sponsor to another id this is uh, fully forbidden and it it cuts off many problems that may arise if the change of spo sponsor is possible i think you understand uh, which problems may arise uh, the second thing the second rule is that change of position in the uh, in the in the orders is also forbidden so you will you will never be able to change uh, the place you are in and this is uh, from the point of view of this uh, from the point of view of the organization of the system this is not possible you always see yourself in the middle and you, there is just no place you can change your position to you know there, there are no empty orders to which you you could like change the uh, to change your position they are just they they just don't exist and by the actual mechanism uh, the system is organized the change of position is forbidden another thing connected with uh, with legal aspect is that uh, the company you know this, this is not necessary for any company but eagle orm and its its executives decided to uh, to make it this way so that as every certain period of time the company is uh, is is checked by an external audit companies so so to make sure that all the uh, financial statements are, are clear so all the stocks of precious metals <clears throat> are, are matching the, the real picture and uh, the not only stock uh, stocks of precious metals stock of precious metals of the company but also of its client uh, of its clients so this is yeah the the thing when uh, yeah when when you are able to go and check whether the gold you have in the company really exists that what it represents now there will there will be official documents where where will be stated that this person registered under this name and this ID with uh, these documents has this amount of gold. And the company decided to be checked a certain uh, every certain period of time. And not only that it decided to check, the company will be publishing these 
statements. Uh, I don't know in, in, which, in which place yet, but uh, of course there will be a link on the official website, and uh, you will be you will always be able to to see online that yes, everything is accounted, and there is uh, no f fake fake system of buying gold. And yes, that is it. Uh, about the payment. Uh, the payment right now is possible through two main ways, uh, which is through credit and debit cards and a wire transfer. <clears throat> there are certain advantages and disadvantages of um, in each of these ways. So, uh, for example, Consider the fact that the only prepayment you need to make is 40 euro. This is just one-time one payment forever. Um, no, not like this. You will not understand <laughs> why is this so. So uh, let's start from the credit and debit cards. Yes, the most comfortable way, as we know, is to is to just uh, I know fill in some fields in on a certain web page, so your transaction is completed. And you can do it through through uh, with the credit and debit cards, but through a certain system, uh, which is called Euro Exchange. Um, yeah, Euro Exchange. Euro Exchange is a remittance service uh, through which you can uh, convert currency, uh, the, where you can hold your funds, where through which you can transfer your funds to, to different places of the world. Uh, the thing is that for now credit uh, the payment of uh, entrance to the program is possible only uh, through through the system and in this system in order to pay from a credit or debit card you need to be validated. Anyone who wants to pay through credit and debit cards has to be validated in, in the system it, and it takes time. Usually, it, it is not it is not more than twenty four hours. Uh, yeah, the the re review review of your documents uh, happens within uh, twenty four hours. This is not a long time, but uh, this is you know uh, one so not an obstacle, but the things that they make the system harder. Uh, another thing is that uh, by paying through credit or debit card. You you can do it only for yourself. So if you have a credit or debit card, you cannot pay for other people to to enter. So through credit or debit cards, through cards can be paid only the owners of the cards. Uh, yeah, and the the complexity with uh, paying through cards is that you need to be validated. And considering the fact that there's only one time um, 40, 40 euro payment for entering the program, uh, you might ask yourself, why do why do I need to register in a certain uh, remittance service to validate myself if I will use it only once and for uh, transferring 40 euro? Yes, this is uh, a fair question. But you need to understand that through, uh, for doing it through credit and debit cards, there is only this way: Euro Exchange, uh, this remittance service, and you need to be validated. But uh, you can also do it do a wire transfer, which is a di direct bank transfer, which when you just once you just go to the bank, you just fill in the needed or uh, the needed papers, and you transfer forty euro to the company. And that that is the the method where when you don't need any validation, verification of your of your documents. So two ways. The most comfortable way has uh, additional actions, which is like uh, linking, like first of all, creating a uh, an account in this remittance service here exchange, linking a, a card. Uh, sending documents for validation, and only then you can you can pay. But uh, this is the way you can do it through a card. If you don't want to to do all these things, you just do it via wire transfer. Uh, 
Uh, this was the last slide of my presentation, but I have not yet finished. I want to talk you uh, uh, to talk about one thing uh, that the system of accounting orders, which you see right now on the on the screen, which is the circle where all the orders are counted. Uh, the the system of accounting orders is organized in such a way that if someone is not working, for example, uh, let's do it on an example. I will not even try to just state it uh, this way. Let's let's do it right away in the example. So, for example, you have three directs, okay, which are on the first, second, and third place. Your first and second direct working fine and everything is good they have movement they uh, they push you up to to new orders you receive your rewards you have your earnings everything is good but the, your third one for example has problems and he's stuck okay the system is organized in such a way that the fact that your third branch is not working will not disturb anyone so other branches of yours will never meet them in their orders making it the way that when someone is stuck they do not disturb others if someone is stuck they're just stuck and don't give the you know the full power of your structure working uh, you know but in this case, uh, it, it is nothing, it's just like a bit of losses of speed. The most important thing is that all, all of your other branches and people are not, and parts of the structure are not affected by those who don't work. So, A, uh, when someone is stuck, all, all, all of you and uh, all of your other branches can um, uh, can can continue working relaxed because uh, you know not, nothing nothing uh, they are not affected by this and the second one the the the, uh, the fact B is that when your downlines do not work considering the fact that nor you and your other branches do not meet them in the order they will never be pushed by someone else in this way you know there is no no possibility to to receive an undeserved reward like it was possible in other projects for example and you just stand in a table and you, you you just you go to a table where are other working people and they they have a choice either either they um, they fill the table by their forces thus yeah, thus uh, pushing themselves, but at the same time pushing you. Here, it is not possible. If you if you don't work, your sponsor is not able to push you. His uh, his other partners, directs are not able to push him. The only way it is possible is that a uh, you are a sponsor of three uh, working branches. You have three that you have working branches yeah you, in, in this way you um, you can basically not work anymore on attraction of, of new clients and uh, you will be pushed up but this is in case you have uh, three direct people who are working but here comes another thing it uh, the thing is that it doesn't matter who who your sponsor are for example your direct direct ones if he's working if he's working more he he's working better he will be uh, receiving more rewards than you because uh you know he he fills his order with uh, 12 uh 12 direct of with 12 um, people and you can can have from this 12 only three people okay uh, thus if 
you know you are your or you are not feeling your order and your direct is feeling is feeling his order he will be uh, just closing more orders than you and thus consequently will be earning more than you and here it doesn't matter who your sponsor are uh, here it depends like how, how you work and everyone is able to work independently you work for yourself when you work for yourself you you don't yeah, it's not fair to say that you don't work for others but I, I, I hope you you got what I mean and also another question might have arised in your in your head what happens when your when my direct uh, feels an order faster than me you know what happens uh, what happens is that uh, when your direct feels the order faster than you he just returns to your to your order uh, occupying uh, the same place That is it. So, um, I'm I'm checking whether I I uh, I miss something. I miss something that I uh, w wanted to say, and I think there is nothing i want to say more so now my presentation is ended and we can uh continue with answering to your questions it's pretty warm here so um I'm here now with you, and I'm ready to answer to your questions. I see uh, the last questions from uh, last question from Lise. And this is the only question I see. What about residual income, and um, you know, what do you exactly want to know about the residual income? Everyone, everyone hears me. Everyone sees me. I'm still here to to answer your questions. If you don't have any questions, um, considering the fact that you do not, uh, you didn't understand how to increase what the uh, the amount, the number of lines from which you have the residual income. Maybe I understood you, and uh, I will show the, the presentation again. So this is the slide with the with the, with the residual income. So uh, the the way to increase uh, the amount of residual income you have is to to have more directs when you complete the qualification which is uh, three people you start having uh, uh, you start having residual ha income from the work of your four lines they have four from six lines five directs eight lines six directs nine lines and seven directs ten lines is that uh, what you ask
Mm. Okay, then uh, I suppose that was the only question. Uh, very, I'm very thankful for for your for what you said, Aleska. That uh, it was a very good presentation, and congratulations to me. I'm very thankful for such a point of view. So, if no one has any more questions, I am about to end the webinar. No one, yeah, but with Liz, yeah, it, uh, it, is, it is good that you understood everything and I was able to explain you it. But seemingly you were the only person who had questions and um, I'm finishing the, the webinar. I am thankful. I, my thanks to everyone who was here during the presentation. I hope that everything was clear, though I think my performance was not the best, but it doesn't uh, matter. Uh, yeah, thank you for, for being here and have a nice one. Uh, soon will be other webinars with improved, uh, with, uh, improved way of uh, giving information with, uh, with another maybe order of uh, giving information with additional facts, additional details of the system, of the of everything. So today is the um, yeah today's Friday, and the next English webinar will also be on Friday. So thank thanks everyone, and until the next Friday.